because this is really designed to just make sure you know the latest and the greatest information that's coming out of Brazil. And before we actually get into the nitty gritty of the details, this is late breaking news from the, the country of Brazil that I'm going to talk about in today's broadcast. But as I said, this uh, video, uh, if you have not, if you come on and if you're listening to the playback, make sure you click the like button that helps to populate the video in the YouTube algorithm so it will be pushed out to more people. We definitely want to make sure uh, that people are made aware of this updated news. It's breaking as of today. Uh, this is the latest and the greatest information we have been given from our folks in Brazil and also from news sources in Brazil. Uh, also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. We are a travel community uh, that travels to different places all over the world. And to make sure you are aware and you know about the places that we do travel to all over the world, you can take a look at your screen and you will see our list of 2024 trips that we have that are coming up. These are some pretty exciting destinations. I will say that we are largely interest-based and so it's going to depend on how many of our travelers in our community wants to go on these trips. All of these trips have dates and itineraries and packages associated with it. So if you wanna join any one of these trips and destinations, definitely let us know because that is the only way uh, to make these trips happen and to make sure that you're able to travel comfortably and safely to and from these countries that uh, some of which host quite a, a number of travelers and some of which uh, host very few Americans on an annual basis. So make sure you take a closer look at the list and you let us know. Uh, also, uh, we are, right now are largely focused on travel to Brazil and that trip uh, that we have coming up early part of uh, February. That is our focus right now. We have meetings coming up with our amazing travel uh, travelers. Uh, so shout out to the 2024 travelers, Black Travelers Network travelers who will be in Rio de Janeiro enjoying the world's largest carnival and really just experiencing the vibe and the atmosphere and learning more about the place itself and enjoying some of the amazing food. So uh, I have to tell you, uh, we are super excited as we are excited of all of our travel groups, but those travelers who join us in Brazil, they're particularly special. This is a really wonderful experience that I really can't wait for our travelers to experience. Uh, after Brazil, we will ramp up for our next trip that is on deck, which is to Spain. And that's a really affordable experience that you will uh, be uh, that you will want to be a part of. It happens over Memorial Day weekend, so it's a very, very quick uh, travel experience. Uh, our travelers who are going on that trip, the, they will be responsible for their own lodging, um, but you can find out more details about that uh, uh, travel experience to Spain. And it's a, like I said, it's a great travel experience, but based on the location, uh, for those of you who have a little bit more time and want to explore, it's a great place because it's in proximity to a number of other countries. It's not that far from Morocco, also Spain, I mean, sorry, also uh, France, also Portugal. Uh, so definitely uh, consider that trip that happens over Memorial Day weekend. You can email us for details to find out more about any of these trips. Uh, so definitely uh, email us at blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com. Uh, that information is listed on your screen. So I want to get into today's broadcast and uh, I want to highlight 
the article that just posted earlier today, uh, it's an article from a publication in Brazil. So the, the article was in uh, Portuguese and uh, it has been translated, uh, but here's what we know thus far. As of next week, January 10th, you will need a visa in order to enter the country of Brazil. And what we know thus far is that this visa is expected to cost about $80 and it's also expected to be good, uh, good for 10 years. So the validity, uh, is, supposed to last an extensive amount of time. Now, this is a huge departure from what it used to be because back when we uh, began traveling and, and, and visiting the country, the only option that was available was the 10-year visa. And that cost for that 10-year visa was $160. And it was a extensive process because you had to make an appointment, actually go into the consulate, do all of this paperwork. Um, and so the great thing about the visa process now is that it is electronic. Brazil is interesting because depending on the year that you've wanted to travel or that you have traveled to the country, they may require a visa. Some years they haven't required a, a visa at all. Um, at one point there was a cheaper e-visa that was implemented and that was good for only like two years. So it seems like, uh, if everything that is suspected, uh, actually pans out that this visa will, um, be for an extended amount of time and it'll be around 80 bucks. Now, what's also interesting about the new visa process that we're hearing about is that it may actually come with a clause that those people from, I believe, uh, Australia, Canada, America, that we ha actually have to prove that we have $2,000 in our bank accounts uh, as an avenue to, to entry. Uh, and you know, this isn't uncommon because there are some countries that will say, oh, you need to have X amount of dollars in your bank account in order to enter. We will see how much that particular measure actually holds up if they will actually implement it. And what the article uh, from uh, the Brazilian publication is saying that, so all of that information is, is everything we've, we've learned thus far. But the article that came out this morning, uh, it came from a publication, let me see if I can say it correctly, in uh, Portuguese, uh, Correio da Manhã. And that translates to Morning Mail. And the article says, Lula, the president of Brazil, decides to extend the start of visa requirements for Americans to April. And so the article reads, and I'm a, I'm a, it's not a very long article at all. It's a, a brief read. It, it says the federal government published t Thursday, January 4th, a decree that extends to April 10th, the start of visa requirements for North American, Canadian, and Australian tourists. President Lula responded to a request, request from the tourism sector. The ministers of tourism, of ports and airports, uh, the Economic Development Board, uh, and uh, there are also some other Brazilian entities. I'm kind of skimming over those entities because it lists a number of names. They held a joint effort with the Minister of Foreign Affairs to postpone the validity until after the high season. We are going into the high season in Brazil. For those of you who've never traveled to Brazil, the high season uh, in Brazil is quite an expensive time of year to travel and we are in the high season. In the cruise sector alone, there were 8,000 foreign passengers who were prevented from visiting Brazil 
due to these new visa requirement and the requirements this the system where you are able to well where you're supposed to be able to go on and obtain your travel visa uh, apparently there are still a lot of flaws and people are concerned within the country that it could harm foreigners who would come to the country for carnival and so this is really a, an imp a really important update and i must say as far as we know as far as we know based off of this article which to be honest with you we're still going to proceed with our travelers as if they do need a travel visa in order to enter into the country uh and so we we're waiting to hear back uh you know just just to get more firmer information i was on a couple of calls today uh, uh with folks in brazil and this information about the visa the e-visas requirements being postponed to april is so fresh and it's so new and so i mean we're just literally hearing about it so i wanted to come on live to share that with those of you who are traveling to brazil do not be surprised if they tell you that you don't need the visa until april 10th but at the same time i would encourage those of you who have planned to visit who do plan to obtain a visa to go ahead and go through with the process as if you will actually need a visa it's better to be on the safe side um as a state stated in the article that there were eight thousand foreign passengers who were actually prevented from visiting the country and that's a significant amount of of people for them to prevent from entering based on them not having their visa so i don't know if as a result of the flaws in the system that they have withdrew uh, even allowing you to to obtain your e-visa that's also a possibility but the latest of what we know is that it is postponed but again this is very fresh off the press information proceed to attempt to try to obtain your visa if you can and if you can't hey then you just can't uh april 10th it appears is the deadline and uh we have received information that has just created a, a massive uh issue with their system uh and particularly from folks from new york who have have reported this as well so it looks like the country may be giving those of you who are traveling to brazil for rio carnival it looks like you may get a, a bit of a break uh, in terms of having to pay the visa fee for entry as this story develops I, I definitely will come back on to keep you guys updated and let you know but as it stands right now uh, this is the latest and the greatest information for those of you who know you cannot make <laughs> make it to the country this year for carnival because this really is like a major attraction when you visit the country of brazil definitely email us email us uh, so you can join our amazing travel community as we plan to visit brazil in the next year 2025 we we actually do have a trip coming to Brazil, go, heading to Brazil later this year as well. But for those of you who love the carnival season, who who really enjoy the glitz and the glamour and the parades and all of the fanfare, the excitement and the crowds and just the overall like, energy <laughs> of uh, a place when carnival actually hits, if you love to experience the carnival in brazil rio de janeiro that is definitely email us our information is on your screen we are gearing up for next year's experience as well like once we complete this we'll shift our gears into preparing for the following year because you get one shot a year at carnival 
And as I said, it's the high season. It's the most expensive time of the year in Brazil. And so a lot of times our travelers are planning as early as February uh, for the following year to make sure that even though it's it's a, a pricier time to visit the country, that they are financially prepared for uh, that trip. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's broadcast. Uh, again, as I stated, I will keep you updated and informed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.